You're nothing but a monster. <laughs> you thought I would just let you insult me like this? What a monumentally stupid mistake. Darling, next time, please not before you enter. Is having basic manners such a painful endeavor? Whatever. I know you have a temper, it's fine. Plus, you've never been the best at being polite. So people died. Yeah, I get why you're upset. But I'm the purple hyacinth. Did you forget? It's clear you knew who I was when we made our deal. But the moment I do my job, you go on a spiel. I also would have liked to not kill those guys, but you realize our lives are kind of on the line. Have common sense. You can't be this goddamn dense. Can't believe I have to tell you refusing the mission means my death. If I die, you'd be left completely alone. So good luck trying to find a leader all on your own. And do you really believe you can get things done without me? Ten years still found nothing on the ATST. And I really think you're mad just because of Manso. There's a personal concern you clearly have with that, man. So before you scream at me, see yourself. Honestly, this might just be the true degree of your hypocrisy. But when it comes to issues, I think you have too many. You saw one photograph, then your brain became empty. That night when you freaked out and made our mission go amiss, I should have told you to first see a freaking therapist. <laughs> Concern for my health? Wow, admire your gall, but you should seek some help first, Mr. I choke people on walls. It's clear you wanna argue, sure it was your call, but if you think you can win this, you're the blindest of all. Your mission meant killing the victims of Loon, and last time I checked, I'm part of Loon too. I know that you couldn't have prevented all their deaths, but did you ever think to at least inform me instead? No? Then let's go back to episode 10 since we agreed on the arrangements of our deal back then. Specifically, there was one particular condition and it was called no withholding information. All you've done is show me that you can't be trusted, especially since the rule you broke you came up with. But Shut up, let me speak. Oh, but I know you're befeeble, so sorry if I damage your delicate ego. So, I really never liked you from the start, but it's clear you lack honor on top of lacking a heart. I'm a man of my word, is that really what I heard? Cause that turned out to be utter bull turd. You murder, you terrorize, you ruin lives, and there's nothing else you can say about yourself with pride. If you still somehow think you're more virtuous than me, let me say one more thing, episode 43. All right, I admit it, I got kind of aggressive, but you have the same problem. Are we not gonna address it? Remember Tim? Yeah, him. He probably wasn't innocent. Still, you were an officer, and he was a citizen. But what'd you do? You know, the thing that endangered your career? Oh right, you grabbed him and smashed him into a mirror. And that didn't stop. You also broke the law. Guess all your self-control and law just said au revoir. Could I really be surprised now that I think of it? You appear to stand by the law while you act like you're above it. Yet you still behave as if you're a righteous moral cop. At least I don't pretend to be something I'm not. Yell that I'm brutal, that I'm lacking compassion. All your yelling is futile, cause darling, I'm an assassin. Told you once, and now I guess I have to tell you twice. When I kill for a living, don't expect me to be nice. On the other hand, you're always fighting out of turn, and I honestly think it might help you to learn some anger management. But apparently being foolish and loud is something that you're way too passionate about. So between you and me, who really is the weak link? I'd say more, but I feel bad fighting the weak link. Darling, you have to learn to manage your emotions or watch out. You might just earn yourself another demotion. How kind of you, thanks. But that's not something I fear. I don't need a rank to recognize you're losing right here. You have nothing else to say, and it's not to show mercy. It's because you realize that nothing you said even hurt me. It's true a year ago I lost my rank as detective, but I can still deduce that your tone got defensive when the topic was on you, and you tried to deflect it. Such a cowardly move. Hope you don't regret it. I beat him up once, and I'll do it again. I don't show mercy to the size henchmen, and I'm not too sure why you're on his side unless you're siding with people of your kind. And I'm aware you don't pretend to be things you're not. You made it plenty clear that you're the leader's little dog. You think you're so smart, but barely put up a fight, and with such sorry barks, can even bite? I thought your words would hit harder to be candid, guess you're not much of a charmer when you're under panic. Didn't need my ability to see through your bluffs, you exposed yourself, your weak lines were enough, and now let's wrap this up. Our battle is done, and between the two of us, it's pretty clear who won. I thought you'd make this a challenge, but I got bored of it. I'm not surprised, after all you've always been the subordinate. You said it's pretty clear who won, I agree. Yeah, it, it was, was me. me. Let's just call it choice, okay? Fine. I guess this confrontation could have turned out a lot worse. Yeah, so do you forgive me for not telling you about the prison tower mission? Then admit I won. <sighs> Never mind.